Hey guys, this is Brian over at Obedia, and I'm going to show you real quickly how to use parallel compression today in uh, Ableton Live. Uh, parallel compression is sometimes called New York compression, and it really is just a uh, very squashed and uh, compressed pumping sound that you can get out of drum tracks especially, and you hear it a lot in high energy electronic music tracks and things like that. So it's fairly easy to do in Ableton Live. All I need to do is create an audio track, which I've already got. And then I need a drum track or a little drum clip loop that I can drag onto that track. I'm going to use just a break beat that I've got. So you can hear that. It's a pretty normal, straightforward break beat. It doesn't have a lot of body to it, though. And I wanted to kind of have this breathing, pumping, uh, compressed effect on it. That's pretty easy to do. So the next thing I need to do is go ahead and go into the Ableton native effects and I'm going to take the compressor, drag and drop it into the audio effects section. Now I've got the compressor and I can hear its effect a little bit. But I want that, again, that pumping, breathing effect. So what I need to do is create a group firstly on this compressor. So I'm going to right click on the compressor and I'm going to select group. Now I've got a group and I can, I can add effects to this compressor, the instantiation of this compressor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the chain section, which I can do just by clicking this button right here. Now I've got the audio effects chain open. On the first link of the chain I've got the compressor, but I'm going to create another link here. I'm going to right click in the empty space and I'm going to select create chain. So now on the first link I have the compressor, on the second I don't have anything. But what this is going to do is it's going to feed the compressor back into itself and it's going to allow me to get that compressed pumping sort of breathing effect that I want to get on these drums. So I'm going to turn these both down just a little bit because it's easy for me to clip these levels if I'm not careful. And then all I really need to do is adjust the threshold level that's on this compressor that I've got right here on the first part of the chain while playing back the audio and I'll start to hear the effect. I'll show you how that works. So you can really hear the difference as I start to change the threshold. Now, of course, I can adjust this further and I can add other compression effects if I want. But that's a good, easy way to get it started and get a lot of power out of your drum tracks. You can add that, and then after you've done that, you can start to tweak them a little bit further and find more effects that you, that you like. So I hope that this is a uh, useful and helpful little trick for you. Thanks so much, and we'll see you again soon.